Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Arm Wrestling Simulator, where today we're uh, we're talking about something pretty serious. Now, today was another update day, and as most Saturdays go, I excitedly hop on the game, open up the update log to excitedly check out what's new in the game, but after seeing what was added, I knew I had to make today's video. Now, because we're in the holiday spirit and because there's Christmas cheer all around us, I did want to just go ahead and thank everyone for all of the insane support on my channel and all my videos over the past few months. If you would have told me a few months ago that this is where I would be right now at the end of 2023, I would have not believed you. And so I have to thank each and every single one of you all who have supported, watched, viewed, liked, commented, subscribed on any one of my videos over the last few months. And because of the insane support, I'm going to be doing one of the biggest giveaways in arm wrestling simulator history over on my Discord. All you have to do is be subscribed and join the Discord, which will be linked down below. And if we have 50k subscribers by the end of the year, I'm going to be giving away 50k Robux. But with all the positivity out of the way, let's jump into the serious topic at hand. Now, as you guys know, I've been playing Arm Wrestling Simulator for the last few months, and one of my absolute favorite things to do is to hop on the game every single Saturday, because that's when the game updates, and I click on this button at the bottom right corner, I scroll through the update log, and I get to showcase to you guys every single thing that's new in the game, and they give you guys the best tips, tricks, and information on how you can use the new update features and mechanics to better yourself with an Arm Wrestling Simulator. But again, after I saw what was in the update today, I just knew something had to be said. Now, if you're wondering, well, what was in the update log? Well, this right here is the update log. It is pretty small, and honestly, that is very fair. The update came out on December 23rd, and that is a few days before Christmas. We are right in the midst of holiday season, which means the developers are most likely taking time off for family, spending time with friends and loved ones, and so by no means was I expecting some huge, massive, elaborate behemoth arm wrestling simulator update. If you read through the update log, it says this, pet quests, you can complete pet quests to receive OP pet. You can do VIP pet pet quest to receive 3x better pets. There are new limited pets and there are new snowflake eggs. So there's three new things and they're all pets. There's no new mechanics. There's no new features. And honestly, that's totally fine with me. Again, I know it's the holidays. I know people are busy. And the last thing people want to be doing is developing a huge update right before the holidays. I get that. But when we head to go see this quote unquote OP pet quest, the OP pet they're referring to is a 25,000 gifted Dominus pets? Wait, what? So you're saying I have to play this game for an hour to get this pet? Wait, wait, wait. I can just go from the starting spawn room and defeat the Santa boss, which getting, I know, 3 billion strength sounds like a lot, but for a free-to-play player, it takes like maybe 10 minutes now. I can beat the Santa boss a few times and almost guarantee myself a 5,000x multiplier pet. And with enough of these, I can combine this up to a 25,000x pet and I can probably do this way faster than I can than by staying in the game within an hour. So they released a new pet quest for a quote unquote OP pet that doesn't actually really help anyone because of the Christmas event going on. And also keep in mind, you can just go over here. If you have enough candy, you can just purchase a 1.5 million or a three or a 10 million multiplier pet for free using as little as like 10,000 candy. And honestly, if you're going to spend an hour grinding, I would just spend an hour grinding snowman here and then purchase a pet in the Santa merchant shop. But okay, maybe, maybe the new, uh, oh, the new snowflake egg. Maybe the this is awesome. Maybe, maybe there's a really good value and they're a really good bang for your buck. For 10 eggs, each egg costs around 200 Robux. The first pet's the, uh, it's, it's a, it's a 5,000 multiplier pet. Okay, interesting. The, the second one, oh, it's, um, it's 15,000 with, with no multiplier. Um, okay, 10, 10% chance for, um, a, a best friend five, a winner, winner four. Um, okay, I'm, 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 I'm spending $2 for a 10% chance at a mid pet up oh, okay maybe 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 this is really good one million multiplier and uh best friend six maybe 30 percent chance for i'm 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 spending two two dollars for the the chance at maybe a an okay pet okay wait that wait i i can just go buy best friend six right now for free wait, wait, wait. again the, the the christmas event it's going on right now it's free it's in the spawn world candy coins you can get them for free this polar bear costs fourteen thousand coins and it comes with a guaranteed best friend six so I can either open a hundred of these snowflake eggs, which according to them have a 1% chance, and without any luck passes, I would need to spend around 20,000 Robux, or I can spend, I don't know, 20 minutes of my time and get this for free. Hmm. Okay, so the, the, the new snowflake egg is not good value at all and a, a waste of money, and best friend eight? The Glacial Owl with a 1 in 10,000 chance is also just terrible. And the last thing added is new limited stock pets, which not many people seem to be purchasing because same thing, uh, if you want a best friend 8, all you have to do is just play the game 
and uh, go spin the Christmas wheel, which is currently still really busted because with the spins, you just get a ton of wheel levels and um, I have like a pretty good chance of getting a free best friend eight. So we waited a week and everything that was in this update just makes no sense. And two of the three things are designed to get Robux. Cool, that, that's awesome. Now there's one thing that everyone in this update was hoping would change. And that was the price of this gingerbread egg. And it actually did change. It went from 25,000 to 7,500. But that doesn't mean anything because this is, I will say it, this is the worst value in-game egg I've ever seen. And it is free and you don't have to open it and just don't open it. If I'm not even going to explain it, I could probably spend 10 minutes going through the math of each pet and each egg and why you shouldn't spend your candy on it. But, but just don't. It's overpriced. You'll waste your candy. You'll waste your time. You'll waste your energy. Just if you see this egg and you can spend your candy on it, do not. If for somehow this egg ever costs 100 candy or less, then I would say that's an okay value. If it ever costs over 100 candy, do not open it. It's, it's as simple as that. And I'll just leave it at that because same thing. You can just go over here and buy these things for free or spin this still pretty busted Christmas wheel for free. Now, the reason I've titled today's video what I've titled it, the insane increase of pay to win updates in Arm Wrestling Simulator is because this update got me thinking like, what have we actually received update wise over the last like two months or so? And so I did a bit of digging and I did a bit of research and I actually have the answers. So let's go take a look at that and let's also go see how these updates have affected the player count and the overall interest of the game. So let's do this. Now, at the beginning of last month, November 4th, we basically didn't get an update at all because this was the World 7 rebalancing update because the week prior to this, the developers of Arm Wrestling Simulator released World 7, but I guess they didn't test it at all because the bosses were way too strong to the point where not a single person could beat a single boss and the wins these bosses were giving, they weren't worth it at all. And so basically we waited an entire week just for the developers to actually fix the world to where it should have been in the first place when it released. Next week, we got the season Season 4 pass update. Now, this update is a funny one because the Season 4 passes rewards were actually so bad, they had to be buffed two times. And if you were one of the unlucky players who had bought and maxed out the pass before it was buffed, I believe you weren't compensated to my knowledge. The developers did make Worlds 4 and 5 more free to play, making it easier to beat the final bosses and progress to the end of the game, which was a really awesome change. But mainly, it was just a really OP Season 4 pass is all we got. Now, I think I think this is where a trend was started that could be seen that constant tweaks and balance adjustments were being needed after almost every single update that was made to the game because the updates were either too pay to win, too unbalanced, or the features that were being updated just simply didn't work when they were uploaded to the game. And sadly, this trend has continued for the last five or six weeks. Now, the next week, we got the tokens update, and this update allows players to earn the equivalent of one Robux every 30 minutes of playing Arm Wrestling Simulator. So if you play the game for a few hours a day, it'll take you you a few weeks to earn enough in-game tokens to buy anything but still it's a fun way to earn in-game currency for free and allow you to get some upgrades without spending any real life money but realistically what this update was actually meant to do is allow pay to win players the ability to purchase these in-game tokens through robux so that way they can use these tokens to trade you with other players for their pets so people like myself i can actually buy tokens with robux and then trade these tokens for other people's pets basically using robux to buy people's pets in the game therefore giving the developers more and more money now for the week of november 25th we got literally nothing we got an event egg that was one win but the egg was so bad i opened five million of them and got nothing the reason we got nothing this week is that the christmas event was supposed to be so big so revolutionary that they were just gonna entirely skip this week and and to my knowledge we had not had an update in arm wrestling simulator for the last like few months or so and so this was building up the hype to be one of the most insane updates i had ever seen and well we were met with one of the most disappointing and the most pay to win updates i've seen in arm wrestling simulator history that was december 3rd the first part of the christmas update we were met with a horrible value christmas pass there was basically just kind of nothing on it the pets weren't that good the eggs weren't that good basically everything just wasn't that great there's also an advent calendar with a terrible design making you pay for rewards if you happen to miss a day also whoever developed the christmas wheel spin made a fatal flaw with the mathematics and the development behind us 
causing the market to absolutely flood with OP pets, making it virtually guaranteed that if you use the Christmas wheel within the first few hours, you were guaranteed to get the new best pet in the entire game. So on the surface, this seems eh, it's not a bad thing, but overall, this ended up harming the game more than most of us could have imagined because it crashed the market. It flooded the entire game with a ton of OP pets and there's really no way to remove them. So all in all, this was a cash grab update with little to no actual value or little to nothing to actually do in it. Now, December 10th, this was probably Probably the best update we received in the last two months or so but again this update was really good mainly because they fixed all the issues from the first christmas update but we got a fun new grindable area purchasable best friends six seven and eight pets for completely free a grindable event egg that's actually worth it and good to grind a buffed christmas pass for those who want to pay to win the advent calendar was fixed and again basically this update was good because they fixed everything wrong in part one now you might be thinking hey we're getting back on track we're fixing our mistakes we're going in the right direction well that leads us to last week's update where they threw us another doozy where they gave us a new unlockable zone in the christmas area and they honestly made a ton of cool features in the area but they made the features so rare and so hard to obtain that I couldn't even showcase them in my video, let alone access them myself. They also added a musical chair event, and I mean this in no disrespect to, at all to whoever's idea that was to add that feature, but I just feel like that is the most off-brand thing possible to Arm Wrestling Simulator, considering the game is centered around AF King in grinding strength and has nothing to do with music at all. And then again, one of the main features of the update, the pet wearables, they were so rare, and they still are so rare, and they're actually broken but since no one can get their hands on them people don't know they're broken so don't even worry about grinding for one because until they fix it i wouldn't even bother and that leaves us with today's update pet quest that will benefit virtually no one who is free to play unless they just started out like minutes ago new pay to win purchase pets and insanely poor value pet eggs like listen i've spent a lot and i mean a lot of robux on arm wrestling simulator and i love supporting games and developers who create something awesome and give people an amazing experience but the last few weeks it's really just felt like the developers haven't even been playing the updates before they've been publishing them and every time they ask for feedback they just haven't been listening and especially with last week and this week's update it feels like their main target of this christmas event is to just get people to spend money on the game rather than actually giving people a fun experience and an enjoyable video game to grind and i think this is honestly pretty reflective of the player count over the last few weeks because if you take a look at it it's been on a steep decline ever since the middle of the summer which I know people have been going back to school and also with the recent release of Pet Simulator 99 over the last few weeks. There's a lot of competition out there, but even in October, the game was regularly pulling 100,000 players on update days, but now when a new update comes out, the game can hardly crack around 25,000 players. And so the main reason I'm making this video is I just wanted to speak up. I have a platform and it's one that thankfully you all have entrusted me with. And one of the biggest things I hate is when I feel like people are being taken advantage of. And when I see something like this put in a game, it just is insane to me. Like I, I just look at this and I'm like, bro, there is no way I would feel so bad if someone purchased this because there was just, I, there's just no way I like, please do not purchase this. Or like with the current state of the game with the current sloppiness of like the these updates and the development like that's my biggest thing is if these updates are coming out crisp and clean and balanced like yeah support the developers support the game you know buy all these passes buy all these whatever but at the end of the day the reality is money talks and if the developers are making pay to win updates and no one is paying to win well then they're gonna have to change their strategy and start making updates that people actually want to play and again by looking at the player count it seems like recently not many people have been interested in the updates they've been delivering on and so as much as it sounds like i might just be hating on the developers in this video that is not the case at all i have done my absolute best behind the scenes over the last few weeks to try to help out with updates in any way possible but then again when i hop on and i see updates like this it almost feels like a slap in the face to me and again you all haven't trusted me and supported me over the last few months and i kind of wanted to just make this video almost as like a kind of a like a public service announcement of sorts and these updates updates man they just keep getting crazier and crazier and so i really hope that with the new year arm wrestling simulator turns things around starts polishing up their updates and starts being more consistent on their updates but you know credit where credit is due the santa merchant is absolutely fire and so is the event tag but if I'm going to be honest, that's probably the only thing worth grinding right now in the entire game. So if I are you, save your Robux, stay safe out there. And don't worry, I'm going to keep posting Arm Wrestling Simulator. I just really hope the developers get their stuff together.